2013 is a very special year. It's 100 years since Benjamin Britten was born. To commemorate this, we've made a CD which includes three of his greatest masterpieces for string orchestra. Benjamin Britten wrote exceptionally well for strings. He knew exactly how to use all of the possibilities. On this CD, we are joined by the Canadian soprano Barbara Hannigan, the English tenor James Gilchrist, and the Dutch horn player Jasper de Waal. The variations on the theme of Frank Bridge really catapulted Benjamin Britten into the international music scene. It's a showcase for a string orchestra. It gives you all of the possibilities, the colors, the bowing techniques. He uses all of the effects which you can use with a string orchestra to the ultimate effect. The piece is a collage of different styles. You have a hysterical Italian aria, a pounding bourree, or a limping Viennese waltz, for example. But the true secret message behind this was it was a dedication to his teacher, Frank Bridge, whom he wanted to portray in a musical way. Britain set them with great tenderness and an, an enormous love of the poetry comes at you straight away, I think. It demands a very chamber music driven delivery. Les Illuminations is like a fairy tale world. Every song is a dream. Um, Benjamin Britten uses all of the colors and possibilities of the string orchestra again to draw you in to this magical world. Working with Candy and the, the Sinfonietta is a very special and very particular experience. We would work without a conductor. Um, and that kind of collaboration gives a very uh, intimate feeling among the players to play as an ensemble, but also they're sharing their sound in a very soloistic way. So it's a, it's a very, very nice way to work. <laughs> I mean, I think he really writes fantastically for string orchestra and it's been a wonderful challenge for us to be able to make this tribute to him. <laughs> 